All right, this tip came from a lot of you out there when I asked what to do with the yogurt cup. And you guys told me to use it as a net cup. And these fit right inside of some of my downspouts that I already have. And instead of using pool noodles like I usually do, I just poked a couple holes in the bottom of it and filled it up with hydrogen because my wife had some left over from her project. Now this is great for people who are having trouble moving their tiny microgreens from soil to the larger cracking containers. You can just sprout them right inside of your downspouts. And then like traditional gardening, just thin them out when they start to grow. Thanks for the tip. Alright, I told you you could take a yogurt cup, punch some holes in it, put it in a downspout with some nutrients, and just grow your sprouts right in there. Here they are a few days later. This is pak choy. We'll come back and check them in another few days, see how they're doing. All right, if you want to build one of these milk jug towers, I've got a full tutorial coming, but a lot of people were asking about the pump. And everyone was asking, how many gallons or liters per hour do you need? Now for a fountain, that's important. But for our NFT system, we don't need the water gushing like a waterfall. So what's more important than gallons per hour, or the rate, is the lift. Now this first prototype that I built is only 32 inches from this point to this point. And this ledge is only 24 inches off the ground. So my highest point that the water has to go is less than 6 feet. So I actually got a pump that has a lift of 10 feet. Which may seem like more than I need. But if your pump only lifts to its maximum point, it's just going to sputter out at the top. So you want to get a pump that exceeds the lift that you need. Because you can always control the rate or the flow with a cheap valve like this. So when you're looking for a pump, instead of being worried about this so much, worry about this number. Hope that helps. Two things that go great together are bacon and pak choy. So I like to grow a lot. So I showed you how you can grow microgreens right on top of the pak choy tower. That way you always have sprouts to take the place of the ones you harvest. Some people asked how do you get the sprouts out of the mat. First off in the other video you saw how we planted it out with just a mat, watered it, some seeds, a little paper towel on top. In about a week you've got microgreens. Now all you have to do is be very careful and just gently pull them out. Put them in a pool noodle. Just like that with the leaf on top, roots on the bottom. Try another one on the side. That's a good one. Even in the middle. This is what I like to do. I grab four or five at a time, not just one. Put them in the pool noodle. Make sure you're not squeezing them too tight. Find a nice, quiet little space in my garden and keep on growing.